Hey yo, we are Hello. back for our second episode. My name is Scott and this is Leslie. We're and back. We are back. Camera's on right. <laughs> camera is facing this direction. No camera mishaps. We have a good show for you guys today. We're excited to talk about some sports, pop culture, bar etiquette, some fun Most stuff. Most importantly, real estate. Most importantly, real estate. We can't forget real estate. Um, I'm going to hop right into it. So real estate, what's happening in the world of real estate? I want to talk about what's called a 1031 exchange. Mm -hmm. uh, what that is, is if you buy a property, there's a way not to pay capital gains tax. And ta capital gains tax is generally 20%. So I want to give you a, an example here. Let's say you buy a property for $100,000 and without doing any work on it, you sell it for two. You're going to be on the hook for $100,000. So that's 20% of that is capital gains. You'd have to pay the IRS $20,000. Now, there's ways to avoid that, the 1031 exchange, and what that is, is an escrow program where you put the money that you make from the sale of the purchase mm -hmm. in escrow, but you have to take that money and buy another property with that money. Um, it's a great, great tool. There are time frames on everything, so yeah. once you go under contract to sell the home, you have 45 days to identify a new property, and then once you identify another property, and by that I mean go under contract, and then from that of you selling your original property, 150 days to settle. Now, it sounds like a lot of like real estate jargon, but if you're an investor and you're a home flipper, this is a great tool to have, very useful tool. Mm -hmm. And I would recommend anybody doing the research on it. If you have any questions about it, feel free to reach out. Um, you know, Les, it's, yeah. would you agree? It's, it's a good tool to have? Yeah, we just wanted to uh, share that with you just because that's something that you just recently did. And um, I think a lot of people don't really know that that's an option. So, um, you know, now you know. And now you know. It's a good thing to know. <laughs> definitely, definitely. I mean, if you're an investor, this is such a useful tool. Mm -hmm. It's a way, it's a not saying range. that you can beat the IRS, but it's a way to legally pay less money in your taxes. Um, and it's just something that, you know, I think everybody's worry is if I flip a home, it's like a grand slam, I get a great deal on it, great. Now I gotta, I'm gonna look at my next thing, like how much do I gotta pay in taxes? It's just a benefit that's legal that a lot of savvy real estate investors use mm -hmm. and just want you guys to know how to use it and how to go about it and number one, know it exists. I mean, I never found out about this until I got in real estate. So mm -hmm. once I learn what it is, it's, you know, it's definitely something that you should be using. The whole point. The more you know. The more you know, for sure. <laughs> okay. So what else we got, Les? We need to um, address the, the eagles, the elephant in the room here. Somberly, soberly, yeah. yeah they they lost. We're all heartbroken. Um, I cried a little bit. Nick Foles probably threw his last pass in Philadelphia. I think this does end the debate. You know, yeah. is Carson Wentz the guy or Nick Foles the guy? Doug Peterson's already on record as saying, you know, Carson Wentz is the guy of the future, but we have a dilemma. Do we trade Nick Foles? Do we let him walk for nothing? It's a little complicated, and I'm glad I'm not a GM and I gotta make that decision. Yeah. All around, it's a bummer. It is. So. It is. But it also made us think about this next topic we're gonna talk about. So I watched the game at a bar, which is great because everybody's high five and you're surrounded by Eagles fans. However, you know, people are jumping around. You know, you're getting your elbows knocked, beers are moving around left and right, it's a crowded area. So I want to talk about bar etiquette. Mm -hmm. You know, bar slash restaurant etiquette, because it could tear towards an Eagles game, just a crowded place, whether you're a club goer, whatever you do, um, this, you know, might affect you. And what I believe is proper bar etiquette is, you know, if somebody's walking past you, crowded bar, it stinks, you gotta suck it in because they're walking through mm -hmm. you and you're banging elbows, what I believe proper bar etiquette to be is if you accidentally touch somebody, blow the waist, or bump knees, or step on someone's foot, it doesn't warrant an apology just because it's a crowded bar. You know, why waste the time? But if you tap somebody above the waist and the drink spills or the drink shakes, not only is an apology warranted, <laughs> possible drink replacement. Leslie, your thoughts. I just, uh, it, this cracks me up. You feel so strongly about this. You have clear defined uh, parameters regarding this. I think that if you run into someone in the bar, no matter above the waist, below the waist, if it was brief, major or minor, you address it. You say you're sorry, 
can you, you know, acknowledge? Maybe I'm a monster. I just think that, you know, if, if you accidentally bang knees or step on someone's shoe in a crowded bar, it's a hole to do if you got to apologize. You know, just move on. It's fine. It happens. It's a crowded bar. But if the drink spills and moves, That's the worst. you got to make eye contact and apologize. That's the right thing to do in that case. Okay. Okay. I think you disagree, but agree to disagree. <laughs> I, I, I mean, I do. I just think always just apologize. Always That's apologize? Me. And that is the worst, though, when the drink spills all over you and you have to like... Oh, of course. Uh, well, I mean, that's an easy decision. Apology is needed. But what if we're at a bar and I accidentally step on your toe because it's crazy? Uh, are you expecting an apology? Yes. Yeah. You I are? Am. Yep. Really? Yeah. But what if you can't hear what I'm saying? I just like a mouthing thing. Like, <laughs> all you hear is like jaw rule in the background. Uh... <laughs> Ja rule. Ja rule. Uh, ja rule. Um, no, I, I would know because you just stepped in my damn toe. <laughs> All right. Well, I know if I ever encounter you at the bar and I accidentally, accidentally step on your toe, I will apologize. What's accidentally? I don't know. Just like, you know, <laughs> flat tire. Remember flat tire? I get flat tire you by yeah. accident. That happens. Yeah. You know, I, I will apologize. Yeah. Okay. The Thanks. more you know. The more you know. Yep, so yep, much. yep. So I'm glad we got to the bottom of that. A man's got to have a code. That's my code. Above the waist, apology. Below the waist, no apology needed. Okay. Well, we'll see if we live by those standards. <laughs> All right. Well, that made us think about um, kind of a fun little game called Can You Not? Yes. So I guess that would be one of yours. Can you not apologize to me if it's not warranted? That would be um, But... We uh, got to talking about the gym and uh, just, you know, all the, the things that go on at the gym. So let's just roll through some Can You Not Gym Edition. Okay. 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 You want me to start? Yeah, you get it kicked off. Okay. Can you not strike a conversation with me while I'm full blown <laughs> running on the treadmill at the gym? <laughs> Usually, like a friend of yours' parents that wants to catch up about God knows what. Yeah. Like, yeah. can you not talk to me? I'm running. I can't talk. I know. That does get annoying. Yeah. My number one can you not, mm -hmm. can you not jog next to me on the treadmill and fart? Oh, God. It's not good. <laughs> Just because you have headphones and you can't hear it, the fart still does exist. And this happened to me because I smelled something. So I took my headphones off and I looked to my right and I was like, not is this cool. guy farting? <laughs> and he was because every step he took, it was like, <laughs> so it was matching up with the steps. Wait. Yeah, it was disgusting. And uh, <laughs> can you not fart at the treadmill? Because if you have headphones on, You're not it invisible. still makes a sound and it still smells. That's rude. Yeah, let's, let's go on and to the, your, your can you not. I think okay. that was a little heavy. Okay. Um, can you not just like grunt loudly while <laughs> lifting? <laughs> like, grunt? Do you have to? Like, I don't lift heavy weights. Uh, so, like, do you, like, is that like no, needed? Does that help no. if with that last like, rep? I used to play football, so like powerlifting yeah. was tightly involved there. So if you are a power lifter, I guess there's a little bit of a, a grunt factor. But like now that we're older, you know, you just don't want to get fat. You don't need to be a power lifter. You don't have to grunt. You don't have to look tough. Like those days are behind yeah. you. Just do your work. And I just thought maybe on. it like helped with like that one like last, <laughs> like that one last rep, you yeah. know? I don't know. But it's annoying. Don't can you I'm, not? I'm with you. Don't, don't grunt. Yeah. Another can you not? Oh can you not? Leave like an empty water bottle by a machine and say that you reserve that one and you're doing uh, something else. You yeah. don't you don't own every single machine when you're at the gym and don't reserve it with an empty water bottle. You know, you don't own not the cool. gym, you don't own the machine. You know, that, that doesn't classify it's not like putting a chair down to save a parking spot. An empty water bottle has no clout. No clout to gym. It's busy, like Yeah. You know. Share the be gym. courteous. Yes. Alright, um, Let's see what else. Oh, can you not just like stare at yourself <laughs> while lifting? Yeah, don't do that. That's never a good look. Yeah. <laughs> not not a good move. Never, never stare at yourself at the gym. Guys, there's gonna be no girls out there that are like, oh, I wanna be with this guy. This guy <laughs> stares at himself. Wait, we got we got we got some we got Paul chiming in here. He says Paul, what do you got? Can you not hit on me? While I'm working out, like duh, I'm I here know. to work out. Yeah, Paul, what a stud muffin. Agreed. Man. Can't keep the ladies off, Paul. <laughs> There's a time and a place for that. <laughs> There's a time and a place. Um, what else? Let's do one more. What do you got? Can you not? This is like more of a girl thing that I've seen people do. 
So you know the Stairmaster? Mm -hmm. Sometimes when girls are going up the Stairmaster, they kick their leg out. And I'm sure there's some <laughs> science behind, like, you know, it helps your butt or, you know, your, uh... it, it's a workout. But that's dangerous. Like, you're setting a mule kick. So, like, if someone walks behind you when you're doing the kick on the Stairmaster, yeah. you can kick somebody. That's, that's a mule kick. I understand you're trying to get a good workout in, but that's, like, extra. You don't got to do all that. Okay. Just well, do the Stairmaster. That's enough. All right. So, uh, I'm kind of oh, guilty of that. Oh, yeah. Of course. <laughs> of course you are. What, what do you do? That's so extra. But, yeah, I, I love doing the stairs, but, like, Sometimes, like at the end of my cool down, like I'll do that. It works out the butt. A you do bit. the kick out? And so it's just like steer clear, Scott. But how stay clear? I'm, like there's a path. Like there could be a path it's behind you. It's not that tight. Aren't I don't you know worried? What gym of, you're working aren't you worried at. about like kicking somebody in no, the stomach? No, they like clearly can see what I'm doing, and I'm sorry. I'm, All right. <laughs> I'm going to be selfish. I'm I gonna agree to disagree on that. I understand <laughs> you're trying to get a workout in. No need to send out I'm mule so kicks to the public. I'm so that person. Yeah, no need there. Um, no need I there. would love to know what your guys's can you not gym additions are. So please comment below. Uh, yeah. Because I think these are pretty funny. Yeah, yeah. We want to know. We want to hear from let you guys. Let me know if you think it's um, you know obnoxious to kick your leg out on a stair stepper. I want to know. It's very obnoxious. <laughs> very obnoxious. Still going to continue to probably do that. Uh, to each their own. <laughs> <laughs> all right uh so that's you know that's all we have for you guys today but uh we hope you learned a lot yep let's do a little recap here um 1031 exchange if you guys are selling a property uh you want to leverage that into a new property give us a call we'll we'll walk you through it scott just went through it um and just see if that's something you know that would be a good thing for you to do definitely so useful if yeah. you have any interest in investing in real estate and the house flipping game rentals everything that 1031 mm -hmm. does um, play a huge role and you should use it so mm -hmm. to find out more reach out to me you could google it there's just a great great tool to have yep uh what else we will be seeing Wentz next season Wentz will be back yep Foles may or may not Probably traded. Probably Is it too out. soon to talk about who you want in the Super Bowl? Who I want to win the yeah. Super Bowl? Is it too I soon? want to see the Kansas City Chiefs win the Super Bowl. I like so I like Big Andy, Andy Reid. I like to okay. see him win a Super Bowl. He's in the other conference, so it's safe for me to to cheer for him as long yeah. as you're on the other side. Okay. Um, and you know, when you're at the bar, you bump into someone above the waist, spilling up drink. Apologize. It's warranted below the waist, not needed. Drink is paramount. Don't agree. If you knock the drink, replace it. Apologize. Always replace it. Be the polite. Drink. Accidental step on the foot. Don't even bother. Just move on. It's okay. Both parties will survive. Okay. I Maybe. Always. Apologize. Maybe survive. And can you not gym edition? Yeah. Let's just, you know, be courteous. No more kicks. On the stair stepper. Unless you're Leslie who likes to mule kick people <laughs> while she's on the Stairmaster. I'm gonna have to rethink that. Don't fart. Don't stare at yourself. No don't more take quarantine. selfies. <laughs> don't and walk around. Don't workout. don't walk around the the bathroom of the gym either naked. There's no reason for that. Okay. Just like we didn't even touch on that. Shower. One. Get out of there. Just don't walk around I think naked. That's goes without saying. Yes. Okay. Agreed. All right. Well, this was the Hardy Times. And it was. We'll see you next Wednesday. Hope you guys enjoyed, and we will catch you guys next week.